your girl Kayla. I am finally back. I'm back in the YouTube game. I am so excited. Um, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys. But another aspect of this video is that I'm going to do my hair, do my makeup, and get ready for the day. So stay tuned and you can follow along with me and see how I do my makeup today. Okay you guys, so as you can tell, I am in my bathroom. There's my shower. And I am going to show you a few um, things that I do to get ready. I'm going to do my hair and then I'm going to do my makeup. And I'm just going to show you the steps I take to do that. So stay tuned and I will um, show you step by step my morning routine every day. So I changed the angle a little bit. I just wanted to show you my setup of my bathroom. This is my bathroom. Lovely as ever. I put a bow in my hair, by the way. I just wanted to show you kind of what I use on my face because lately I realized I'm not getting any younger, so I really need to take care of my skin. And that's very important to me. Ever since I started my new job, I'm on my feet all day. Um, we don't have any air conditioning, so I'm sweating all the time. And all that sweat and dirt and grime just gets into my pores and makes me break out a lot. So, here are a few items that I've been using. Um, first of all, I'll start off with this one. This is by Neutrogena. It's Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser for Foaming Formula. And it's for... Um, Let's see, thoroughly cleanses without disrupting skin's natural moisture balance. So what this does, it doesn't over dry your skin, which is really good for me. Um, I tend to have oily skin, but when I get dry skin, it just feels plasticky and really tight, and I don't like that feeling. Um, but it's supposed to remove any dirt, um, supposed to clean your pores and remove makeup, which was really important to me. That's part of the reason I chose this one at the store. Next up, we have Cetaphil, and this is a daily facial cleanser. This one is for normal to oily skin. It looks like this, and it removes excess oil without drying, clinically proven to deep clean skin. So, so far those are the ones that I've tried and they tend to, they have been working out. So it's um, really good. I really like them. The other products I bought are by Modessa. This is an oil-free acne wash. It has little exfoliating beads. I haven't tried this yet, but I heard good things. And then last but not least, um, I got Panoxyl. This is an acne foaming wash. Maximum strength, it clears existing acne blemishes and helps prevent new blemishes from forming. Formulated to be gentle on skin, um, and yeah, so I thought when my skin gets really bad, that would be my go-to. So other than that, um, I think that throughout the video, you'll probably see me messing with my hair. It is the summertime, it is July. And it is very hot in Illinois. I am sweating my ass off right now. I might turn on the fan. Who knows? But I'm just uh, warning you that I might play with it a little bit. And I might straighten it here and there. So I just want to let you guys know. Um, so I have all my makeup laid out here. And let's get to it. Okay, you guys. So first things first. I always start out with foundation. I am currently using Fenty by Rihanna Fenty Beauty. This is in color 210. It's a little dark for me. I haven't gone tanning for a while, so I'm actually pretty pale, honestly. And some people tell me that they prefer it, which is crazy to me. I love tanning. I miss that bit D. Um, but other people say that they like me tan, so it's really up to me. I have been doing self tanning where I have a lot of tanning lotions and it kind of in a way dyes your skin to be darker than it naturally is. So instead of going into a tanning booth, 
yourself tan and it has worked out for me really well I think it actually looks pretty natural um, I haven't done it for a while it's been a couple months since I last did it so again really pale um, so yeah let's get started here so what I do I take my foundation brush and I give it three dollops of the foundation And then what I do, I go into the mirror, I put a little dot on my forehead, my cheek, cheek, nose, chin, and right above the lip. And from there, I just go around in circles and kind of blend it in with the brush. I make sure to get all of my forehead along the hairline. just so it coats evenly on the skin. And then what you also want to do, a good tip, just so you make sure that it blends in more consistently, put it along your neck. And then you kind of have a blank canvas to work with. Sometimes I put it on my ears a little bit just to make sure it blends in. Under the eyes. You don't want to miss that. And then one thing that I also do, I also like to um, put it inside of my eyelid. Just so it blends in evenly. Okay, so then we move on to our next step, which is concealer. And what I always do is I take my concealer. This happens to be Stay Matte by Ramel. And this is color Warm Ivory. So this might be a little too dark, but we're going to just see what happens. So then what I do when I use my concealer, it's a little drying up right now. So I do about four dashes right under my eye. like this. Same thing to the other side. One, two, three, four. And then three between my eyebrows. Three on my cupid's bow. Three on my chin. From there, I take my um, blending sponge. This is specifically made for concealer. And I just kind of tap, 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 until it is all blended in and ready to go. So what this does is it brightens up the spots on your face um, and also it conceals any blemishes you may have. I don't happen to have any blemishes right now. I was breaking out pretty bad about a week ago, but I'm pretty good now. Um, so I don't really have much to cover up. But if you happen to break out a lot, that's certainly something that it can help with. Okay, so après soi, which means after that in French, we move on to blush. And I happen to be using a powder blush today. Sometimes I use a liquid form of blush. Today I'm just going to take it easy, go the easy way out, and I use powder blush. So this one is by American Beauty, and this is shade Garnet Glow. So as you can see, powder, and um, I'm just going to do a quick little whoop de woo kind of pounce, 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 pounce it off, and then I do a little smile, make sure it's going to look natural, that's what we want, and so a little smile, and then just kind of brush it on. You don't want it too high, you don't want it too low. You want it to cover your um, 
cheekbones and your cheeks. So same thing on the other side, little whoop-de-woo, -whoop. um, pounce it off, and then smile and brush it on. All right, and then I kind of like to go up a little bit on the nose, just a teensy bit, on the chin, just a teensy bit, and that's blush. Following blush, I always put on highlighter. So this one's by Mally. It's called Stardust. And I'm taking my little fan brush, my mermaid fan brush, looks like this. And I'm just gonna kind of sweep it on top, just like so. And then kind of blow on it, make sure you don't have too much. And then smile and put it right above the blush on your face. So you have a little glimmer and shine. Smile, brush, 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 brush. And then what I always do is put some on my nose, put some above the eyebrow, and then some um, on the cupid's bow. After the highlighter, I do my bronzing procedure. Um, so I'm using an e.l.f. palette. It is uh, four different colors. I happen to lose one. And so I'm taking the tan color, and that's going to be my bronzer for today. So I just sweep it, kind of pounce it off, and then what I do is I kind of suck in my cheeks, Put it right underneath the um, blush. And then that'll just kind of give your face a little dimension. Do it on either side of the nose. And then get a little bit on the forehead, not too much, but just again to give you some dimension. And then, of course, underneath the chin. If you want to make your face appear a little slimmer, this is a good hack. Following that step, we're going to go on to the brows and eyeliner, under eye eyeliner. So what I do in that case, can you see me? Okay, good enough. So um, I, take it <coughs> I take an eyebrow pencil. This one is very dark. Um, I recommend using like a shade darker than what your natural hair color is. So this one is in black. And you just kind of go over your natural eyebrow. And the reason for that being, the reason why I like to do this um, and color in my eyebrows is because when I use the foundation, it kind of rubs off on my eyebrows and makes them a very light color. Like, you can tell that I'm wearing makeup, and that's not always the best thing. That's not always what you want. You want it to appear as natural and pretty as possible. I go in with my favorite eyeliner. And you guys know, if you've watched my makeup tutorials before, that I love this. It is Master Precise Skinny by Maybelline. And it's really nice. Um, I like to give my under eyes a very heavy look. And this is made possible with this tiny little eyeliner. Do you see how small that is? But it does a really great job at um, creating a definitive black under eye look. So what I do, I start in the center of my eye, oddly enough. And I kind of go back and forth a little to get it to be very dark. Go to the edge of my eyelid. And I'll just kind of color the rest of it. All right, so as you can see, we have our eyeliner on. Kind of a heavier look. And after we do that, we're going to go in with our eyeshadow. And today, I thought that I'd choose a simple but pretty pink look and so um, the 
decided to use the Revlon Eye Contour Kit. It looks like this. Very worn, as you can tell. And so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go with the lightest pink. This little pink right here. And I'm using kind of a flat brush. So I'm going to go in. Tap, tap, tap. Don't want too much. We don't want fallout underneath the eye. And then just kind of gently sweep it on to the eyelid. With this light color, I tend to go a little above the eye crease. Following that, I take a little angled brush, looks like that, and I go in with this darker color right there, and just gently sweep over above the eye crease. After that, I take this little um, brush, you know, it's kind of angled, kind of pointy, and I take this hot pink just to spice it up, and I go in, and what I do with this, you guys, I go in the crease, gently color in the crease, and it just gives it a little dimension. There we have it, we look stunning and pretty. But what I like to do after all of that, I take this little uh, like fanny brush, fanny brush, um, I take this little like fanned out brush, it's uh, very large compared to the others. And what I do, I just kind of sweep it all together so that it melds well. And I go into the upper lid by the eyebrow and it just melts all together and looks really pretty. So after our eyeshadow, I usually lately like to use my pencil um, eyeliner, the Maybelline one, the pink one, this one. And but I sometimes will use a liquid eyeliner. So this one is Revlon Color Stay. And I prefer this one over any others that I've used in the past. So what I do when I apply liquid eyeliner, I start at the tear duct of the eye, very close to the top waterline. I kind of just draw an outline of how thick I want it to be. From there, I just color it in a little coloring book. Okay, everyone, we are in the home stretch now. We're almost done. One thing I want to do, just to kind of spice up this look, is add a little glitter. So, at my new job, it's a retail store. We sell pretty much everything, honestly. It's like a general store, right? And so, one thing that I picked up the, the other day that I absolutely love is this glitter. It's called Color Spell. And this is in shade Space Age. And so what I do here, I take a little brush. Here, let me show you. Looks like this. And what I do is I just kind of dip it in the glitter. Looks like this. It's kind of like a gel almost. Well, it is a gel. And so I dip in the little brush, kind of wipe off the excess if possible. And then I just kind of dot 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 along the eyelid. You can put as much or as little as you want. I feel like being very glittery today. And then we just kind of let it set and dry for a couple minutes. Finally, we're on to mascara. This one that I've started using recently is by Thrive, and it's called Liquid Lash Extensions. 
and trust me these will extend the heck out of your eyelashes it is crazy so when I do my mascara, I don't do anything nuts, I don't do anything out of the ordinary. Right at the front, near the eye duct, and just kind of sweep it on in. You can close your eye to get it even higher, the lashes that is. And with this mascara, it just comes out looking marvelous, honestly. So pretty. And I use this on both the top lashes and the bottom lashes. Okay, and then following that step, we do powder. We do a setting powder, translucent setting powder. This one I have today is by Mary Kay. And it's just a white powder, as you can see. So then what we do is we take a powder brush. Well, you know, what we can do is actually pour a little bit of the powder on the inside of the cover, the top of the container. Kind of tap it so that it gets around evenly. And then we just kind of swirl our brush around, tap, 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 tap. Make sure there's not too much on. And then what you do is you just evenly coat your face. Don't forget to get the neck. This will also kind of blend the foundation on your neck and your ears and just kind of pull everything together. Our last step, last but not least, is setting spray. This is by NYX, NYX and it's a matte finish Vinny Matte Setting Spray. So what this is, it keeps your makeup on all day long. I'm gonna kinda get my hair back a little, and then you just spritz, spritz, spritz. With that, we're done. All right, well, I really hope that you guys liked this makeup tutorial. It's not hard by any means, it's just a step-by-step-by-step -step -step process. And once you kind of master it, it becomes very easy. And I think it's a very pretty look. It's not too much, but it's just enough that I feel pretty. Like I'm not wearing makeup, but I am. If that makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, leave some feedback. I would love to read your comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.